We're back with the second Invincible USA pack opening to try and pull one of these mid Invincible cards. For all NBA 2K24 grinding, contact Rose NBA, link in description. So we got a new Invincible pack drop right here, guys, and yeah, it's mid. It is actually pretty mid, but regardless, guys, I'm here to bring you guys the pack opening no matter what. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel right now if you enjoy pack opening content and drop a like on this video as well before we go any further. And taking a look at the cards right here, we got six new, we got Stefan Marbury, we got Jason Kidd, so two short guards. Jason Kidd, I mean, his Galaxy Opal when it came out was really good, so this card could be okay. I think Amika Okafor could be a good big man as well. I know he is really tall, so and he can shoot, so it could be all right as well. Michael Red, I haven't thought about this card since he had a pink, since he was the pink diamond season reward in like season three or four. I can't even remember, but I mean, pretty pretty basic, you know. I mean, what every card can shoot, every card can do everything. So it's kind of hard to differentiate good and bad cards when you when you're this deep into the my team season. Amari Stoudemire, I mean, if you're an Amari Stoudemire fan. And this could be cool. He can play the small forward as well. And Alonzo Mourning, who is arguably the best card that did come out in this drop. He's got a pretty decent jump shot for being a center power forward. The back odds are no different. They're really bad. It's minus 2% for an Invincible. And it's just weird because only Invincibles are in these packs. So it's just so random. You know, I wish they should drop other things as well. Like I miss promos where you'd get, you know, even though it's Endgame, I totally get it. It's, it's end game, but and we're getting invincibles and goats and 100s and dark matters. But I mean, just dropping budget options, dropping galaxy opals, dropping diamonds, pink diamonds, like updated, like an updated, hypothetically, if we got an updated pink diamond LeBron James, like that was really super easy to pull. Like that would be really cool for budget players to like try and like, we'd be easy to buy that card just on the play market. It would, it would then give the play market more like purpose as well. And like, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to like justify 2k adding pink diamonds into the game like that's a wild thought like but I'm just saying it's just variety you know like we just haven't got much variety I think it's the biggest problem with uh one of the biggest problems with this 2k is 2k are like this is the content it's very specific like it or not simple as that end of story I opened up some singles to get us warm but we're going to jump over right here right now to have a look at the equal chance pack now if you want to put the time in to try and get one of those cards even though like I said they're nothing there's nothing crazy in them I mean the, the, the challenges to get this pack is not that bad get two blocks in a game with a heat player seven times score 14 points in the paint in a Suns game score 14 points in the paint in a game with a Suns player seven times get 57 points with a Bucks player in a game get 10 double doubles over multiple games get 25 assists with Mavericks players over multiple multiplayer games and score 50 points with Nets players over multiple multiplayer games so these two right here I would definitely recommend for triple threat. The double doubles and the 14 points in the paint in a game with Suns player, I would try and do those together. You could probably do this in clutch time offline, honestly, getting 10 rebounds and getting 14 points with a Suns big man card. I don't know what's really out there at the top of the head, but that's just a thought. And two, you could try and get those three done, honestly, like in one game. That could be kind of hard, but it's possible. And it definitely speed the whole process up. I mean, right here are some really cheap options for Sun players that can get rebounds and score points in the paint. So, you know, you could use like, either of these cards in clutch time offline and get double doubles and score 14 points in the paint. So I think that could be, yeah, pretty easy for sure. But again, the, out of the cards you get out of them, you know, unless you get like Alonzo Mourning or Amika Okafor or, or Amari, I would say it's an L because these, even the, the, good, the, the good cards out of these ones are still not that exciting but i'm gonna open up a 20 box right now but when i do say it's not that exciting i mean like if you want no money spent it is it is still good i will say that equal chance pack that is good content at least in my opinion because i mean it, it is a pretty easy easily obtainable invincible card to get your hands on and if you've only been playing for the say hypothetically just you started in season eight and you grinded that pack out that equal chance pack out and you landed a card like Alonzo Mourning or Amika Okafor, like you've got a new card on your team, like 100%. Like a no money spent player, even like if you're not new to the game and you're no money spent, you started last September. That card, a card like 
some of these cards could make your squad. I just found it interesting, like last time we got these packs, the Invincible USA one drop, we got so many, we got so many known names like Kyrie Irving, Allen Iverson, Hakeem Olajuwon, like these big, big named players. And this drop just seemed like all the off cuts that people like, yeah, like they're obviously all legends you know like they're uh, they're olympians you know like they're amazing players but at the end of the day it's the name of the players in the packs that are selling that is that sell the packs that make the packs exciting so i just think this is just a real boring it's kind of it's kind of boring it's not worst case scenario or anything like that but it just i don't know i feel like 2k should have just added like just having hakeem having hakeem in the last drop just like knowing there was such an elite card and he's a big name he's really good in in my team as well this year that made the drop so much more better knowing there was really something that you want to go for and that was Hakeem where this drop I feel like you've got three L's and three mids there's nothing nothing really that exciting but regardless I mean I'm the one here opened up the 20 box so I mean <laughs> make up your own opinion on that I guess but regardless I wanted to bring you guys a pack opening still I wanted to see if I could pull an invincible because I was not able to get one this time last week um, but I think I will get the equal chance pack and just to see who I can get, you know, I mean, if I can make content out of it, why not? You know, I might, I might find a, a fast method on how to fly through it and get it done. Maybe it'll only take me an, an hour or two or something like that and I can see who I get. Maybe I can get a card like a Mika Okafor or Alonzo Morning. because I would like to try them out. But like I said, I would only do it for the content, honestly, because and same thing with these packs as well. There's no way in hell anyone is opening up these packs. That would just be absolutely insane my best pull out of that 20 box was amethyst Kyrie irving that's such an insane thought i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna open up a 10 box right now of the invincible packs just trying our luck one last chance we're shaking again and we already got another amethyst pull lucky us we got Kyrie irving again how lucky are we wow man if i can if i don't get an invincible out of this 10 box maybe i won't be back next week no just kidding you already know i will be you know i'll be back i just hope i just hope next time 2k drop these invincibles they're at least a lot better and i mean only only for the equal chance pack because the equal chance pack that is good content these terrible odds invincible usa packs are just they're terrible it's the only way to, to word it they're terrible but we'll fly through these last five packs to see if we can clutch an invincible pull maybe we can we probably won't we got my, my third Kyrie irving what is what is that is that a sign for something i think 2k should have left the part the previous six invincibles in the packs as well which would then make there a total of 12 invincible cards in packs i think that would be better pack nine has got nothing and the final pack i opened up 30 of these packs or over 30 actually and yeah just pulled three amethyst Kyrie irvings but that is going to conclude this pack opening video guys just crazy odds but regardless i wanted to bring you guys a pack opening video to see if we could but unfortunately we couldn't but guys subscribe to the channel right now leave a like on the video and i'll catch you in the next upload it's been witnessed